Hey guys, what's up? Spectre here. And if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm obsessed with Cyberpunk 2077. And I do make Fallout content from time to time. But I was wondering, what would it look like if I smashed those two worlds together? Let's find out. To make all this happen, I used a few different mods, all of which will be linked in the description below, along with timestamps. So make sure to check down there if you're a PC player who's curious and might want to replicate some of this. The first mod I used for this transformation is Cross 77. This outfit comes in four main parts, consisting of the jeans, shirt, and boots in one layer, the iconic samurai jacket that goes on top, gloves, and a headset. The headset itself is pretty fascinating, as it can be customized to display the Oni mask, or even used to blur your face and hide your identity. The clothing itself can be augmented and changed in a few novel ways. You can even have different mega corporations plastered across your back, change various colors, and more. You can also change the colors of the glowing parts of the jacket as well. Aside from cosmetic upgrades, there are also combat modules that can be added to the set. It's a pretty comprehensive mod, and you can craft your own set at the chem station. I absolutely adore this high-quality mod, and you will too if you decide to check it out. Xbox users will be happy to hear that this mod is available on your platform as well. And remember, all links are below. This rather futuristic helmet was a standout bit of equipment in the original Cyberpunk reveal trailer from years ago. Worn by a Psycho Squad team member, it features a fierce futuristic look. Now you can craft one of your own in Fallout, complete with different colors and even working lights. It's a simple mod, but one that's rendered beautifully with your choice of 4K and even 8K textures. In the world of Cyberpunk, you don't only need cool clothes, but you'll need some firepower to keep yourself safe in a city teeming with danger. This mod adds a Cyberpunk-style pistol to Fallout 4. It can even be adjusted from automatic to single firing rate. You can find some being sold out at weapon dealers across the Commonwealth, but you can also find one for free in Diamond City, just on a table left of Arthur's weapon stand. Rogue Prototype is a bit of a spicy mod, as it adds some skimpy armor sets that seem a bit over the top on the surface, but actually allude to art from Cyberpunk 2077. This outfit, for example, is ripped straight from the original trailer that I mentioned earlier. There are a few others that are even skimpier, but all keep with the mature spirit of Cyberpunk 2077. I don't think I'd use this one on my regular playthrough, but it's there for those of you who appreciate the more seedy side of Cyberpunk. You can craft these outfits at the chemistry station, and even upgrade them at the armor station. Another simple mod I can recommend to transform your game into a more Cyberpunk experience is Cyberpunk Visor. It allows you to craft a futuristic-looking set of specs that come in various colors. They can also give you extra skills like target tracking and night vision, so they're stylish and practical. These can also be crafted at the chem station. Dystopian Diamond City turns regular old Diamond City into a two-story metropolis, with a restructure that gives it a cyberpunk vibe. The new area, known as the Upper Stands, provides new green spaces, apartments, scenic views, and more. There's added security to keep the riffraff at bay, as well as entertainment including a karaoke bar. I thought the hulking advertisement spread across the space also added to a cyberpunk vibe. However, use this mod at your own risk. There are a lot of items being loaded into an already crowded space, so it doesn't always run well. But I thought it would be cool to show you guys anyway. And that's it for this video, but if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, please let me know by hitting that like button and commenting below. Because next, I thought I'd cyberpunkify Grand Theft Auto V. For more coverage of games like Cyberpunk 2077 and mod lists for games like Fallout and Skyrim, make sure to sub. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.